Hello, this is the Provoke Ron, and this is a slightly different video to the ones I'd normally do. I've had a lot of people in the comments saying how much they like my voice and how they find my videos relaxing and soothing. And so the idea of this video is something very different to what I normally do. Now I've said in the previous behind the scenes videos that I've done, I like to think of my videos as tech pornography, essentially you get some nice close-up shots of various different devices coming satisfyingly out of a box and onto the desk. Or you get to see close-up angles that you wouldn't normally see in other videos, and the focus is very much on the product. The idea here is to create a video which shows you that while I talk to you in a soothing way. Now I, roughly a year ago, tried out a pair of sleep headphones from Cocoon. Still using them now, and I find them very, very relaxing. They're comfortable headphones that you wear when going to sleep. And there's an accompanying app that runs alongside these headphones. It connects via Bluetooth and then lulls you to sleep with various relaxing sounds and some very nicely put together audio tracks. I'd highly recommend these headphones if you're having trouble sleeping or just relaxing after a stressful day. When your mind is struggling to unwind and you just can't stop thinking of things. The brain races throughout the day on various different tasks and you're really struggling to concentrate on just going to sleep. And what I'm going to do is give you a sample of one of the tracks from Cocoon as a taster of what you could potentially get out of it, but obviously read by myself, rather than the various voice actors that they have. And hopefully you'll get some nice relaxation out of this, while I also play some of the most satisfying snippets of video footage that I've captured from the last couple of years. Close-up shots of mice, keyboards, headsets, all sorts of glorious things like that. And you can either watch and listen to my voice, or you can relax into a nice slumber sleep. That choice is yours. And if you enjoy this video, let me know, because I'm really just doing it for fun. But if you find it relaxing and you'd like to see more of them, maybe it's something I could work on in future. So here we go now, relaxing into the session. Welcome to this hypnosis for overthinking. Something that we often reach for when we're faced with a problem that seems overwhelming or insurmountable in some way. To begin, I want you to draw your attention to the present moment. Away from evaluations of the past and predictions for the future. To do this, notice your surroundings as if you were noticing them. For the very first time. What do you see? Explore the objects around you carefully, purposefully. There is no rush. As you do this, Notice how the simplicity of this endeavor its methodical rhythm stills and, and calms your mind. Continue to explore in this way if you like with an internal narrative that describes each object in detail. As 
as you encounter it. If your mind wanders away, which, well, it might, because that's exactly what minds are designed to do. As soon as you notice it is gone, note where it has gone. Then gently, without judgment, guide it back to the methodical exploration of your surroundings. Now, with a mind that is quieter, less crowded with the thoughts of the day, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, close your eyes, and just for a moment or two, Enjoy the stillness that the darkness behind your eyes brings. Now, closing your mouth gently. I want you to breathe just through your nose, in through your nose, and, and out through your nose, in through your nose, and out through your nose, in through your nose, and out through your nose. Relax. And on your next in-breath, I want you to tense every muscle in your body. Starting at your toes. Curl them tightly all the way up your leg to your bottom, stomach, chest, shoulders, Arms to the muscles in your face. Hold them tight for a moment. Hold it. And then as you exhale, let all of the tension drain away. Back down from your face, shoulders, arms chest and stomach, your bottom, legs, to your feet, and finally to your toes. And again, on the next in-breath, start to tense every muscle in your body. Begin with your toes, curl them tightly, then up through your legs, to your bottom, your stomach, chest, shoulders, arms, to the muscles in your face. Hold them tight for a moment. Hold it. And then, as you breathe out, let all the tension wash away back down from your face to your shoulders, arms, chest, stomach. To your bottom, legs, your feet, right the way to your toes. Relax, 
unwind. Deeply relax the sound of my voice. And once more, on the next in-breath, tense again every muscle in your body. Begin with your toes, guard tightly, and up through your legs, your bottom, stomach, chest, shoulders, arms, and to your face, tighten them all, and tighten and hold for a moment, and then as you exhale, let all that tension wash away, back down from your face, Shoulders, arms, chest, stomach, to your bottom, legs, feet, to the tips of your toes, and relax deeply, relax. Warm and comfortable. Now feel relaxed. Enjoy the fact there is nothing else for you to do but relax. Lie still and listen calmly to the sound of my voice. It is time for us to turn our attention to overthinking. Understanding why something happens places us in the strongest position to do something about it if and when we need to. So let us start there. Our minds are designed to solve problems. Usually practical problems. By turning the issue over and over and over until a solution is found. However, not all issues can be resolved using this approach. Particularly ones that are related to our self esteem, to our sense of worth, our sense of value. So it is often the case. That when we encounter a problem, an issue that triggers self-doubt, our minds attempt to deal with it as if it were a practical problem by thinking and thinking and thinking. Over and over and over again. But 
because self-doubt is not a practical problem that can be solved in this way. We can find ourselves stuck. Stuck in a cycle of thoughts and deliver no solution. Only stress, anxiety, negativity, and ultimately more self doubt. When an issue triggers self doubt. that we are not good enough, that we cannot cope, that we will fail, be rejected in some way, we must take a different approach, an approach that allows us to step back from thinking, to step back from overthinking for a time in order to allow ourselves to reset reset and approach the issue again with fresh eyes and a calm mind. So, let us do that now. in breath, I want you to allow the image of a spindle tightly wrapped in yarn to form in your mind's eye. With each breath, Allow the image to become more and more vivid. Draw all of your attention to that spindle, tightly wrapped in yarn. Because this spindle represents your mind when it has become stuck, stuck in a cycle of overthinking, bound up by thoughts. offer you no way forward. Now, reach out towards the spindle and take the end of the arm very gently Take hold of the yarn, begin to pull it towards you. As you do, notice the thoughts as they emerge from the spindle. 
carried by the yarn. All the yarn towards you, gradually, gradually unwinding it from the spindle. And notice each thought as it emerges on the yarn from the spindle and makes its way towards you. Then passes through your hands. And falls away onto the floor behind you, into the pile of yarn that is slowly forming there, slowly, gently, bring your mind of unhelpful thoughts that offer you no way forward. Observe each and every thought as it emerges. Catalog its contents, then allow it to pass through your hands and fall onto the floor behind you. Allow yourself through this process to become the observer of your mind, no longer a participant, you can see your thoughts clearly, each thought as it emerges and passes with the arm through your fingers and onto the floor behind you. But it is as if the thoughts belong to someone else, you no longer have any emotional attachment to them, you no longer have any influence over how you feel, over the decisions you make, the choices you make, there is a distance now, a distance between you and your thoughts, between you and the pattern of overthinking that has developed in your mind, and if when you notice you have followed a thought, you have once again become tangled up in the yarn as soon 
as you notice that this has happened, note the content of the thought, catalog it, then let it pass through your fingers and fall onto the floor behind you. Continue to pull the yarn from the spindle gently, methodically. One hand over the other. Pulling the thoughts away and out of your mind. And as the spindle begins to empty of yarn, you will notice your mind is becoming quieter, stiller. And as this happens, you will begin to feel yourself drift off. Drift off into a deep and peaceful sleep in which you will awake fully rested and refreshed, ready to face your day. Continue to pull the yarn until the spindle is completely empty. Your mind is completely still. Empty. drift off. There is nothing left for you to do. Sleep. Sleep peacefully. Everything is okay. You are okay. You are safe and relaxed, just exactly as you should be. You deserve this peace. You have earned it. Relax. Embrace the warmth. Embrace the comfort. Drift off into a peaceful, relaxing sleep. Your work is done. Any tasks or problems that remain can be better dealt with another time. Allow yourself to let go and sleep. Let go. This has been the Provoked Prawn. I hope you found this video relaxing and entertaining. And that you have a wonderful slumber and a fantastic one. When you wake, don't forget to subscribe.
Smash that like.